In the late 70s, I was mowing lawns. While everyone was getting careers, all I wanted was revival. Nobody knew me, but I kept praying. In 1999, I prayed a prayer that would alter my life forever. There are moments of time when God will give you a life-defining prayer. That prayer, prayed in the power of the Holy Spirit, with fire in your heart, could change the rest of your life. I prayed, how can I turn America back to God? A woman came to me. She says, you don't know who I am, but the Lord told me to pay your salary this year because you're going to start something with prayer with the youth of America that will change the destiny of the nation. So we begin to mobilize the sound, and this was our message. It's not a festival, it's a fast. And it was that sound that seemed to resonate in the heart of a whole generation. Twice I had nightmares that I was on stage on the mall in DC, and it was just me and only 40 people showed up with four jumbotrons in the distance. But I will never forget on September 2nd, 5.30 in the morning, the light was beginning to come up, and as far as you could see, kids had gathered all night long. By 6.30, the park police said there were already 270,000 people, and the metros are jammed. They came to the sound of fasting and prayer. What we had dreamed about, what we had prophesied, we were literally standing in the answers to our prayers. And 400,000 showed up for 12 hours to fast and prayer. We asked for something supernatural, not only here, but to break out all over this nation. Of a turning of two generations, we asked. We were like those who dreamed. God had answered our prayers. And it began the movement called The Call. Stadiums for 20 years have been filled. And then toward 2018, the Lord began to bring a shift. The Lord said, you can't move into the new without ending the old. We ended the call and I had no idea that a grain of wheat was about ready to become multiplied. We are here because we are crazy enough and you are crazy enough to believe that we are on the doorstep of the greatest move of God in human history. Now, 2019, now 2020 and beyond, I'm seeing the young generation that raised up under the call are now going to stadiums, and the sound of it is going to stadiums all over the world. And it's not John the Baptist. People are getting saved, healed, missions, Jesus, the evangelist, is being manifested. I'm dreaming that at the end of my life, I could actually teach a generation on the language of dreams and how to live out their dreams, because I've been doing it. I have faith that abortion is going to end, and I had a dream that I was to raise up a movement of a million adoptions. I have a dream that the church worldwide, day by day, will be praying for the great harvest. But I think maybe more than those dreams, maybe my life could be a message for those younger than me. That God is faithful. That God shows mercy and forgiveness to us in our humanity and keeps the story going because he's the author and the finisher of each person's story.